I want to turn now to the um, latest news of a federal judge in New York City barring the Trump administration Tuesday from placing a citizenship question on the 2020 census, setting up a likely battle over the issue at the Supreme Court. Voting rights activists saying the citizenship question is aimed at deterring immigrants from participating in the sentence, census, leading to a vast undercount in states with large immigrant communities, impacting everything from the redrawing of congressional maps to the allocation of federal funding. David Cole, the ACLU, brought this case. Yeah, we brought this case because um, it was clear to us that what uh, Wilbur Ross, the Commerce Secretary who made this decision, uh, wanted to do was to undercount those parts of the country where there are significant immigrant populations, which happen to be overwhelmingly Hispanic, which happen to be overwhelmingly urban, which happen to be uh, largely uh, democratic. And he's, he sought to do it by putting a citizenship question on the census, notwithstanding the fact that for the last 70 years, the Census Bureau has been unanimous that it is a disaster to put such a question on the census because it deters people from answering the census And he altogether. lied about and, putting and, it on? And, and, and knowing that that was not a permissible reason to do it, he con concocted a false reason, uh, that is, that the Department of Justice needed this information to, in to enforce the Voting Rights Act. The notion that this Justice Department is interested in enforcing the Voting Rights Act is a, is a joke to begin with. But secondly, the Justice Department has never uh, sought this information to enforce the Voting Rights Act under any administration. Uh, and But he finally prevailed upon Jeff Sessions, personal call to Jeff Sessions, to get the DOJ to write a letter in which they appeared to be asking for what Wilbur Ross, in fact, uh, initiated. And then he concocted a record that sought to conceal that. And so yesterday, a federal judge here in New York issued a 277-page opinion uh, after a three-week trial uh, finding a veritable um, cornucopia of, uh, of, of legal violations by uh, Wilbur Ross and the Commerce uh, Department in seeking to conceal the real reason why they're trying to distort the census. And clearly this will go to the Supreme Court, the Kavanaugh Supreme Court. How do you think they will rule? Well, I think, you know, you, you've got a very extensive set of fact, fact, factual findings by this district court, 277 pages. He's the one who heard the testimony. That makes it much more difficult uh, for the court to overturn it. But also, at the end of the day, this is about democracy. Democracy turns on knowing who lives where so that we know who should be representing them. Uh, and so I think every uh, member of the court ought to be interested in an accurate census. Well, I want to thank David Cole of the ACLU and Kristen Clark of Lawyers Committee for Civil Rights Under Law. I'm Amy Goodman. Thanks so much for joining us.